This is the 2024 Ford Mustang that you cannot get your hands on. And I'm going to tell you why in this video. What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV. And today I'm really excited to give you this review, the 2024 Ford Mustang GT. We're gonna go over a lot of different things, especially why you can't even get your hands on one. There's a lot of brand new technology in this vehicle. This thing has got a whole lot of really cool technology, including a brand new technology called Remote Rev. Cars and coffee is never going to be the same. Now, a fun fact, a little bit of random statistics for you, that remote rev comes automatically with the active valve exhaust system. And the active valve exhaust system comes and gives you an automatic six extra horsepower and three pound feet of torque. I think it's pretty cool that just that one little option gave you six more horsepower. But a couple of other cool fun facts about the all new Mustang. Did you know that it is the longest running nameplate for sports cars in the in history of the United States. I think it's pretty cool that the Camaros died off and then come back and then it's going to die back off again and you got the Challengers turning into an EV. I'm just grateful the Ford Motor Company gave us the Mustang Mach-E as a separate vehicle and they didn't kill off this amazing sports car. A couple of really cool features about the Mustang people don't really know is did you know that this Mustang does a thousand Wait a minute, I can tow my jet ski to the lake with this thing? When properly equipped, yes you can. Nice. But, I mean, who's going to want to do that? I can get there faster than anybody else. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Now I know this video is specifically about the Mustang GT, but I think it's important for you to know that the EcoBoost Mustang, the four cylinder engine that we're gonna cover later in this video, it actually has killed off the manual transmission. So if you want a manual transmission, congratulations. A Mustang GT is the only way to get it. Let's talk about some of the options and features that are on this vehicle, as well as some of the options and features that are on all of the Mustang GTs, as well as the EcoBoost, really. So first up, let's talk about the different trim levels. You have the EcoBoost, and then the EcoBoost Premium, which has got the leather interior. Then you've got the GT with the cloth, and then you've got the GT Premium, and then you've also got the Dark Horse. Just kind of wanted to lay out the different trim levels for you as well. Now this happens to be a GT Premium with a optional 401A equipment group. Now that 401A equipment group comes with a lot of different features that you can see right there on the screen. But the other thing that I really want to point out to you is that it comes with the Copilot 360 Assist Plus. That is a mouthful. But basically it comes with things like the adaptive cruise control, lane centering, and all of the different driver assist technology that you would expect with one exception the car does not have Blue Cruise, which is kind of a bummer because Blue Cruise is something I have really come to grow and love. So as I've already mentioned to you, this one is a Mustang GT. So a couple of different things. You'll notice that the grill in here is a piano painted black material. It is different than what you'll get on an EcoBoost, which is nice. I like the fact that they're giving you more of a distinguished look if you buy and pay for the upgraded version. A couple of other things you'll notice, you've got the functional heat extractor. I know that you can't feel the heat through the camera, but trust me, I can literally feel heat coming out of that engine bay, and it's gonna do wonders for aerodynamics dynamics as well. Now this particular Mustang GT actually happens to have the GT performance package. So what does that come with? It comes with a lot of different things to make sure that you get the best performance. No kidding, right? <laughs> You've got the upgraded wheels and tires. Uh, this one also has the night pony package on it. So it's got some changes and some alterations there as well. You've got a staggered set of wheels. The GT performance package comes with all of the struts and braces and things that you'll need to make sure that chassis or, or chassis, depending, depending on whether you're from Alabama or not, <laughs> It makes sure that the chassis is as stiff as possible. So it's got a K brace underneath it to stiffen up that chassis. It's got a strut tower brace, which is going to come out when you supercharge the thing, which by the way, um, I happen to know a guy that's going to be selling some superchargers for this thing pretty, pretty quickly. <laughs> that's the only downside of that strut tower brace is it's got to come out when you add a supercharger later on, unless they change the design. I don't expect that, but a lot of really cool updates are going to be coming on the supercharger because I think Whipple is even already started supercharging the 24. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that all turns out. But a couple of other things I whoa, love whoa, about whoa, the whoa, night whoa. pony. How are you going to back up and not even talk about the huge Brembo brakes right here? I mean, these things are almost as big as your head. That is a good point. That massive Brembo brakes does come on. Yeah, see, that's why I keep my boy Colton around. Because he, on. yeah, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate 
like yes, that. Sir. So that's actually a great point. So you do get the upgraded brakes, but not only that, but you can get the upgraded calipers painted specific colors. It's the first time Ford's really given us the option to customize your brake caliper cover from the OEM factory. Didn't know that. I really like that. That's really cool. <laughs> Isn't it though? I really think they did a heck of a job with this vehicle. I mean, you've got the black wheels, you've got the black 5.0, and I know Colton's favorite modification, those chrome lug nuts. There was that like a $5 upgrade. They could have thrown some black lug nuts on that thing. Whoever's <laughs> buying this is getting black lug nuts. It's not leaving like that. I'll be mad. <laughs> well, that's, that's actually a great point. You talk about the lug nuts and the person that's going to be leaving about this. Um, you know, I said in the beginning of this video that this vehicle is one that you can't get your hands on. Colton, you want to tell us why? All right, so as Mitchell mentioned earlier, that's kind of hard to say, Mitchell mentioned, this is a very, very special Mustang. It's one that you'll never get, be able to get your hands on because it is number two, serial number two for the RTR conversion kit. Number one was actually promised to, I think, AutoZone as a giveaway. So we actually are getting the first production kit for the RTR conversion on these Mustangs. And that comes with a lot of stuff. I mean, basically the whole grill is gonna be completely different. You get LED lit, inlets for your intakes, new upper grill, new lower grill, you get new wheels and tires, you get a lowering kit all the way around, which is really exciting. You get side splitters, you get a new rear deck lid and rear splitters. RTRs worked very heavily with a bunch of different companies to make sure that they were able to provide a, a very performance based package. It's not just going to be a bunch of add-ons to make this thing look cooler. It's going to perform better as well. One specific thing that I actually talked to our RTR rep about was the suspension because one of the things I hate seeing are these graphics and spoilers and stuff like that and they really don't do anything to make the performance better and suspension is a huge deal when it comes to performance of a vehicle and all is going to make the car faster but handle better. They actually took a lot of time to develop their suspension. They're calling it the RTR tactic performance suspension. So this actually includes uh, adjustable shocks and struts, lowering springs, and adjustable front and rear sway bar. That way you can fine tune this to the way you want to drive it. If you're tracking it, you can set it up. If you're just daily driving it, you can set it up. If you're trying to get on the drag strip, you can set it up for that as well. And a couple other cool things that you get is going to be on the interior. You're going to get a performance shift knob. You're going to get the floor mats. You're going to get serialized badging. You're also going to get a certificate of authenticity. You don't have to send your vehicle all the way to RTR to get this done. Uh, you can get the conversion kit done at your dealership. One of the cool things is we've actually teamed up with RTR so that we're the only dealership in Alabama and Georgia who can convert these and actually have them serialized. So if you're needing any of that work done and you want your vehicle either you know to come off the showroom floor with the RTR conversion or you want to bring one to us, just call this number below and we'll be able to help you out with that. Appreciate that, Colton. Great job. So as far as the colors are concerned, the outside of the vehicle, there are three deleted colors going from 23 to 24 and there's three brand new colors. So the colors they deleted were Eruption Green, Fighter Jet Gray, and Mischievous Purple. And they've got three brand new colors, which is Blue Ember, Vapor Blue, and Yellow Splash. Now this is Vapor Blue, and I think it looks amazing. And I don't think it's a coincidence that the customer that ordered this vehicle, by the way, I know Colton, you went over all of the RTR stuff, but this vehicle actually belongs to a customer. That's the reason we're not gonna be test driving it in today's video. Uh, but I think it's amazing, the color choice that he selected. And I think it's pretty understandable why the customer chose the exact same color as the model vehicle from RTR. But as far as the outside is concerned, the Mustang Night Pony package is one of my favorite packages with the exception of they're struggling to build them right now. And a couple of reasons is, is because you've got the black accents everywhere. We've already kind of talked about that. But you've also got the black painted roof as well as the black painted spoiler in the rear. Now the spoiler is actually a part of the GT performance package, but when you come back to the back side of the vehicle as well, you'll see that this GT emblem in the back not only just says GT, and not only is it black, but it even says performance inside of the GT letter. It's an amazing, wonderful nod to all of the different Easter eggs inside of this vehicle. And speaking of Easter eggs, take a look at this right here. The rear windshield actually has all seven generations of the Mustang stamped into the actual rear window. So the reason I'm so far away from the Mustang right now is to show you a really cool point, is that the vehicle actually can detect when I'm approaching it itself. And the cool thing is the lights will actually start to dance on you as well. So as you see, I don't have my keys in my pockets, but those tail lights and the headlights, they automatically start dancing to let me know that this car is ready to go. Speaking of go, let's take a look at the inside. The inside of this car is where Ford has made the biggest improvements in my opinion. As you can see, these leather seats are the Recaro upgraded seats. Technically, they're considered space gray. They don't look space gray to me. They really look like a white leather, but it looks absolutely amazing and it feels very bolsterous. I will tell you that I'm on the upper end of the weight capacity as far as girth 
is concerned. <laughs> I don't know that I would be able to sit in this if I weighed too much more. Uh, but being six foot three, I've still got headroom inside the car. And uh, the nice part is, is that I can even lower the seat even further. Now the downside to the Recaro seats is that they are completely manual seats. So you've got slide forward, slide back. But the reason they do that is to save the extra weight in the vehicle for the track. So I think it's a really cool trade-off that they're giving you. I have absolutely no concern that I'd be able to get this seat exactly where I want it. But the biggest thing, the biggest improvement on this new Mustang is going to be this massive infotainment system. So as you can see, it's got a massive 12.4 instrument cluster as well as a 13.2 inch SYNC 4 system. Now the crazy thing about this is it is set up in the, the computer technology behind this is the Unreal Engine. You know, the same kind of technology that they use in real life video games that's an oxymoron. <laughs> they use it in video games currently. And so that's the reason that everything is so automatically responsive and it just works really, really well. And the graphics are so much more improved. That's because of that Unreal Engine that Ford is using in this system. Now, the other updates on this car are gonna be, and you'll notice pretty quickly, that all of these buttons and everything is really leaning towards me. They've kind of turned it to where it's a lot more simple for me to reach everything and it feels a little bit more natural inside the vehicle. The other thing that I really, really love is the wireless phone charger that is located right here. That is a massive improvement because in the previous generation Mustangs, you always kind of struggled with where do you put your phone? Now you've got a dedicated place. And I've got the biggest phone that you can get from iPhone right now, and there's no issues, no concerns of it fitting. Woo, got that widescreen Apple CarPlay. And as you can see, we are at the Bessemer Civic Center right across the street from Town & Country Ford in Bessemer, Alabama. Okay, so, so I know that audio does not come over the microphones very well, but that banging Olison sound system sounds amazing. The sub in the trunk is definitely doing its job. I would argue this is, without question, the best stereo system Ford has ever put in a Mustang. It might be one of the best stereo systems Ford's ever put in a vehicle, and that's a strong statement. A really neat feature on this new Mustang is there's actually a USB-C port located up here by the top rear view mirror. It's going to be perfect for loading up things like your radar detector and things you, like that. You mean that. dash cam, dash cam. Oh. <laughs> Not yeah, radar detector. Yeah, yeah dash you cam. You shouldn't need dash. one of those. <laughs> no, it's the radar detector. Get them 5.0 off of you. Uh, right? I mean, you, should, you shouldn't wait, need to do that. 5.0 Mustang. Uh, I wasn't talking about the like police. What are you there talking you about? Go. What are you talking about? So, yeah, it is really nice that for whatever functionality that you want, you've got that USB C port located up here. Now, a couple of other cool things that's really carried over from the previous generation Mustang are going to be the track apps. So, you've got things like your dedicated line lock. And if you don't know, line lock is a burnout mode. So, you go to the drag strip you need to get the tires warmed up you put line lock on and it locks those front tires and it unlocks the rear ones it allows you to do it a very easy burnout then in addition to that you know it's not really part of the track apps but you've got the drift brake located here now here's the cool part is the drift brake also doubles as the e-brake and one of the things i've not heard very many people talking about is that to turn the e-brake off is one of the most intuitive ways possible to turn the e-brake off just have your foot on the normal brake and press down and it automatically automatically releases that parking brake. To put it on, you just pull it straight up. It's a really slick little setup. But going back to the rest of the track apps, you've got things like a lap timer, you've got an acceleration timer, and a brake performance uh, metric in here as well. It's really amazing all of the technology for racing that Ford has put into this Mustang. There's no question in my mind how dedicated Ford Motor Company is to the internal combustion Mustang. Now let's talk about the performance of the car. The beautiful thing about this Mustang is the 5.0 V8. Now, as I mentioned to you, we're going to be talking about things outside of just the Mustang GT. Hood struts, thank you Ford. Thank you for the hood struts. But before we jump into the GT, let's talk a little bit more about the EcoBoost. Uh, some people call it the EcoBeast. There is no more 2.3 high performance EcoBoost this year like there was last year. And I think the reason is, is because the 2.3 is actually revised and pretty much it's almost like all of them are now a high performance variant. But moving on into this particular Mustang GT, one of the things that I absolutely love about the 
the engine itself is that it is a dual intake. So you've got air boxes on either side of the front of the engine and you've got dual throttle bodies. That extra added airflow allows for a lot more horsepower and torque from the factory and on a naturally aspirated engine. There is no boost going on here. Specifically, 480 horsepower and 415 pound feet of torque. Man, this thing, I just love American muscle. You know, I know I drive an electric vehicle. Don't unsubscribe just because I said that. Uh, but my Bronco is not an electric vehicle. I'm telling you, when we drove this vehicle over here, it just, we didn't get on it because it's a customer's vehicle, but you can just feel how much more happy this thing is to accelerate. It's almost like it wants to accelerate more than I wanted it to accelerate. And the 5.0, this is the fourth generation of this engine and it has been absolutely fantastic. Up until then, I cannot wait to see what Roush Superchargers and then Whipple Superchargers comes out with this particular vehicle. I'm so excited. And just like that hood, this video is closed. Peace. <laughs> oh, oh I, forgot, I forgot to tell you. Don't forget to like the video. Otherwise, everything's going EV.